Hey guys, it's your Hanson here. Uh, so today I'm going to show you another recipe for rabbit. Uh, this is using one of the farmed rabbits that we grow here, uh, which is quite different really to a wild one. Uh, so first I'm going to show you how I like to cut up the rabbits. I find they cook a lot nicer if you cut them up into smaller pieces. Uh, knife I'm using is a Kershaw antelope too. Uh, so front legs off. Uh, yeah, then I cut down a couple of the ribs here. And then across here you see there's kind of a thin part where uh, like most of the meat on the saddles up here. Uh, so I cut around the flesh there and then you just give it a bit of a twist and it comes off. You can use this piece here for stock or for soup but we have a cat and my cat loves these so uh, so that's what happens with them and then essentially the same up here around the hips alright so that's the saddle and your front legs and then here what I find is if you go down by the tail Uh, you can cut through that wee bone there and then same on the other side alright so there we've got the rabbit and we've got it all up into its smaller parts so it cooks a lot evenlier alright so I'm going to marinate these uh, so I'm going to put a bit of oil in there because it uh, yeah, you need a bit of moisture with rabbit and I find this works really well. Uh, a bit of soy sauce. Uh, yeah, a bit of fish sauce. Uh, and then a seasoning of your choice. I've got this is kind of like a sweet like barbecue type one. I put heaps of this in. and then also a bit of cumin I almost want this like a crust alright so I'm just going to put the pieces in there Alright, so just mix that around. Alright, so I'm going to put that in the fridge overnight to marinate. You can get away with just an hour or two, but I like to do it overnight. Just helps it to soak up the moisture a bit. Alright, we'll see you tomorrow. Alright guys, so we've had a change of scenery. We're up at my dad's place. And we brought the rabbit because we invited ourselves uh, for dinner. So this has been in the marinade overnight, so I'm just going to throw it in the dish and I'm going to pour the rest of the marinade over the top. Uh, one thing you have to remember with the saddles is it's got all the silver skin on it so I like to just put a couple of uh, like cuts in the top of the silver skin so it's not going to tighten up because it'll make it really tough and then I have the oven it's preheated to uh, 180 fan bake 
and then we're just going to throw it in and then we'll leave it there for about half an hour, 40 minutes. Right, so the rabbit's out of the oven now. Mm, very juicy. Good. Awesome. Alright, so everyone thinks it's really hard to cook rabbit. It's actually really easy. Um, uh, when it comes to farmed rabbits anyway, it's a wee bit different with wild rabbit. If you haven't had a go at farmed rabbit, you should. Alright, we'll see you guys next time. Alright, who wants the last piece? I don't. Me! Me.